Is this really cool? And they say, and they say we're not a real community. They say, they say who would want to show up and hang out? Nobody's going to want to show up and hang out. Everyone's going to be rubbing each other's asses, all that crap. And look at this. This is the real deal. I know about you. You know about me. We goof around. Sometimes we agree. Sometimes we don't. But isn't that what we do at any family event, at any get-together anywhere? You know, it's real. It's real. This technology is changing everything. It's changing everything. It, it is. I mean, it really, really, really is. It's phenomenal. Dude, this is... It's, gonna, it's, it's blowing your mind, right? He sees everything way too deep, way too heavy. That's the thing. Never actually blows my mind because I talk about it. You keep it from blowing your mind by talking about it. I like that. I like that. It's like therapy. That's right. But it's, it's more like friendship. Yeah. Where do you think it's headed at? First night, you don't want you to What? First night. Well, I just, I don't know, I want to, I want to... The next month and a half worth of videos somewhat planned out in my head. Uh, but not orchestrated, there's things I want to talk about. You know, like over the next two weeks, this London thing and the YouTube gathering. After that, there Where might... Where are you going? Huh? Are you going to London? Yeah, we're London tomorrow morning. Yes. Or mon Monday morning, I'm going to London, yeah. So, the comments ever get to you? Yeah, yeah. Does the comment, does the comment ever get to you? Buzz me. Well, also published by the San Francisco Chronicle, the San Francisco Examiner. It was about the Bush and Cheney uh, guilty of prejudice, 12 galaxies of populations, and embezzlements of burglaries, embezzling my salaries as a movie star and a TV star, and the CIA involved with embezzlements, burglarizing my campaigns, where prejudice surveillance hidden cameras, uh, with Universal Studios Hollywood, filming me with the CIA involved with uh, telepathic inventions, the cameras could disappear in thin air, and also the, the 12 galaxies with rocket societies, space vacations and flying saucers, with the prejudice treasons uh, committed against the 1,000 galaxies. So I also filmed with CBS, ABC, World News. I met Mike Serrace from ABC and uh, John Block's own CBS Evening News. I'm trying to get that impeachment uh, about 2009 or 2010 and try to sue the CIA for damages uh, for not paying me as a movie star and uh, those former presidents uh, with a White House guilty with a mass murdered cases. And they're ruling on 12 galaxies guilty with those mass murdered cases. Guilty of a very serious treasons against uh, a thousand galaxies of our populations too. So I think probably 2009, I'll get a chance to get it proven in Washington D.C. too. Thank you. I think that's amazing. Yeah. I think that when we when we communicate openly what we what we have and listen, that we can do anything. Yeah, that's a good idea. So yeah, I met Channel Seven the news people too, and. Uh, they filmed me several times too. Channel 5, I met the regular anchor, John Kessler's, and uh, Channel 4, Thompson Creek's the anchor man too. So I also filmed by those stations too. I'm Ian, by the way. What is your name? My name is uh, Frank Chu. Uh, Frank? Yeah. It's good to meet you, Frank. Good to meet you. This is an amazing experience. I was able to meet Kucinich already, uh, running for president, uh, Jerry Brown's and Gary Hart's, uh, you know, former presidential candidates too and tell them about my campaigns and uh, they were able to agree with me and uh, meet me in person, uh, shake hands with me and uh, they were very friendly about it too. They were helping me with the campaigns too. I believe that it's all changing. I believe politics is changing. Yeah. I think uh, Bill Clinton's, uh, I think Bush and Cheney uh, has to change a lot for the White House because uh, the war crimes are getting too serious in the Middle East. And uh, Bush is one of the one of those mass murder cases to change it. So I think it's a time for a new president very soon. To... I think we've been thinking that for a very long time. Yeah, yeah we're saying it. And I think people are now just starting to wake up that yeah. they really fucked up by voting him for a second time. Just, or just get the president to listen, which I think we can do. We can get anyone to listen if we use the right energy. Technology. People have just have been approaching him and like, you did this, you did this, blaming him. We just need we need to stop blaming him, even though that's like our initial reaction. We just want to blame him for everything. But instead of blaming him, we just need to talk to him. You can't 
like blame him for everything. Or listen to him. Because even though he sounds like a doofus, he's really saying something. He's saying, he's trying to he's say saying, something. He's saying, I'm afraid. He is afraid. He's very afraid. But he stumbles over yeah, his words. Yeah, yeah. He's very afraid, but instead of blaming him, we just need to talk to him, and anyone can talk to him if they use the right approach. <laughs> there you go, yeah. Which is what we need to do. And I think people are now becoming aware of that. Yeah. And that's very hard. That feels very rewarding, because after everything that he's but after everything that he's done, you know, we need to... Hey, it's Ian. Uh, we're at, uh, we're at the Pier 39 right now, and, and David said, I, I, I want you to make a video blog right now, and I said, now? And he said, yes. I said, okay. I, th I thought, no, in my mind, because, you know, there's all these other people around. But then I thought, well, why would I say no? Why would that be my initial reaction? Because it's kind of scary to, I don't know, talk in front of all these people. It's not really scary. In fact, it's not scary at all. This is such an amazing experience. I wish that you could be here. You, Terry, I wish you could be here, man. I talked to Kelly and she said that you said, hey, so I'm thinking about you. And I'm feeling your pain. I have it too. Um, I got a little off track. I, I wish that next time, the next event is going to be big too. Be bigger. And uh, I'll see more people there hopefully. Yeah, yeah. It's nice like you have this fucking camera. But that's what you do all the time. I know. That's what you do. You're always behind a camera. It's balance, you know? I can't be, I mean, I can be behind this a camera David. all the time, but this I don't want David, to. This is David, a person holding a camera. Is it on? It, it is, is on. on. I'm holding a camera and I'm David. It's Amanda. Hi. It's Ian. Yeah. You know? Yeah, I know. This is Michelle. This is Michelle. Hi. Uh, trying, I was trying to do a video blog, but then there are all these people around. It was really distracting. Yeah, there's always one. Ian, Ian. You just dropped that. Tell me about why you dropped it. Because, because I'm, because I'm afraid, yeah, afraid to do a video blog because there's so many people around. Bullshit. Because at home Bullshit. we always do video blogs and Dave's always I around or Ian or, or, or Dominic's always around or I'm around. There's always someone around and you always do video blogs. Yeah, always. Like 500,000 people here. Number is not real. Well, I wish that if that weren't true, this has become something of, uh, of a fear-based.